In a time of economic hardship, God spoke to the prophet Nehemiah. And he said, go speak to the children of Israel. Stop charging interest. There were some in that day that earned their money on charging their own interest, which was totally against what God commanded them in Exodus 22:25. In the New Testament, we see Matthew, a tax collector, giving an account of how Jesus taught him to pray. He said, pray this way, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. In the Greek, that literally means forgive us of what we owe as we forgive those who owe us. Later on, Matthew gives an account of Jesus telling a parable. This master had a servant who owed him a lot of money. And this servant came to his master, and the Bible says he went to his knees. And he said, please forgive me for this debt. I cannot pay you back. And because of the compassion of the master, he said, your debt's forgiven. So the servant goes out and finds a man who owes him money. And he says, pay me that money. And the man said, I can't pay that money. So the servant said, you're going to prison until you pay everything that you owe. Oh, and the master found out he was very angry. He called that servant in. And he turned that servant over to the tormentors until he paid all that he owed. Well, you see, the master is God. And the debt is our sin. We can never repay that debt. It's only through the blood of Jesus that that debt is paid. You have now entered the truth zone.